I used to love uh, following my sister, you know, to cinema, to see beautiful dancers. So when I reach home, I would be facing in front of the mirror and doing the dance and imitating. When we go for international festival and all that, food has been always the uh, most important thing in our list. I heard so much about plant-based food. We know that we want to eat healthy food, but we need to know where, what, how. Madam Somsad? Yes. So this is your lontong goreng. Yes. Tell me about the ingredients. I'm ready to cook, yeah. Okay, number one is of course the lontong. Tong. Very important. Mm. No lontong, no lontong no goreng. Lontong goreng. Mm. Besides the lontong, the red chilli. Yeah. So, so now we will pound this first. And then of course the onion. And then of course the garlic. And explain to me what is this? This is a special ingredient. Yeah. It's called yura. Yura. By using this product, we can not use chicken because it tastes right. just like chicken. What about replacing the egg? egg. Yeah. yeah. So we also have some plant-based egg here, mm -hmm. which you can make from scratch. Huh? So oh, okay. I think my life as a dancer is not a planned thing, you know. What makes me now is just go with the flow. I never knew that my involvement in dance will lead me to what I am now. Kita fry the onion, onion first, yeah. Masuk okay. Masukkan, eh? Masukkan semua, semua, ya? semua, semua, semua. Yeah, semua. Hmm. Dance in Singapore is never easy, as we were all hobby based until I turned professional in 1997. But at that time, I think I was fighting alone. Everybody was saying, why I turned professional? All the while, it had been hobby, hobby, hobby. It was a gamble. I don't know whether I will make it or not, yeah. but then I start from zero. The lontong will absorb the flavour. Yes. Wow, so dark there. Yeah. Yeah. I smell. Ooh. Magic pot. Your magic yes. pot. Yes. Mm. See, it tastes like chicken. Yeah. Perfect. It's perfect. Yeah. I must say, my cooking is quite good. <laughs> With our, our, our cooking. Our huh? cooking, yeah, got it's a, good. I got a good teacher. Yeah. When I learned the Malay dance from Sriwana, I know it was from Medan. But what is Malay dance in Singapore? When I was given a task mm. to do a choreography, and what I saw at that time was what was around me like uh, wedding, Malay wedding. Right. Why, I, why are they holding the, the tepak siri, right. the bunga mangga, right. the this, the that? So with that meaning, you know, it become narrative for me to create dance movements. Amazing. As a dancer, you have to leave home. And I'm leaving my son. son. At that time, he was only three or four, you know. It's not only by me and my husband and of course my late mom who helped so much. It's not an easy journey. There's ups and downs, but uh, there's no regret. What oh, is the feeling? Power. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know whether to say woman power or woman struggle. Oh, eh, macam betul lah. Dia macam yeah. minced chicken lah kat sini. Yeah. This meat ni, meat, Boleh buat bergedel, boleh buat tahu, boleh buat macam-macam ni. -macam, eh? I think the uh, meat ni pun kita boleh buat roti john. Ah, oh, yelah. Roti john. Yes, yes, yes. yes. I'm sure the Malay community out there, some of, of them have already started and some of them also have known about this, the importance of plant-based food. So together we together. will move forward and do what we have to yes. do. I think the people will just love this. There's no different. All is the same. It's the same as how I do with my normal beef. Mm. Mm, beautiful. It's not just about eating, yeah. it's about friendship. We use the word silaturahim to strengthen the friendship.
to dance and food connects. Let's go, masak together, guys.